Hi, my name's Ailey. I'm a senior physiotherapist for Cerebral Palsy Alliance and I have recently transitioned to delivering all of my therapy um, via telehealth um, and in particular with one of my young clients, Laika. Since January, I've been seeing him with face-to-face -face appointments. I've done one telehealth session so far, and that actually was when I was meant to be doing a home visit. Telehealth actually was able to achieve that goal beautifully for me to actually see his environment. It was a really great first session. I got to see Laker's home environment, which, you know, definitely was part of it. Um, we've currently got a goal attainment scale or gas goal around his cruising skills. I was able to watch him in that real environment and watch him cruise and he's now cruising around. Hi, my name's Christine Vasiliu. I'm a senior occupational therapist working out of the Penshurst office. And I'm here to talk to you about um, how telepractice is working with a client of mine, Sienna. So we've only just started the telepractice, so it's a bit hard to tell what the outcomes are going to be. And her goals were around socialising, oral hygiene, cutlery skills, hair tying, showering routine and things like that. So for example, socialising. Now in this sort of um, environment where we are in isolation, we actually thought of a Zoom party. So we actually changed what our intervention was going to be. So we we're still working on the goal of socialising, but just a different form and a different um, sort of medium. So my name is Amanda. I'm a speech pathologist at Cerebral Palsy Alliance, and I'm here to give you a bit of a rundown about our telepractice is working for me and for one of my clients, Sienna. Sienna's been going really well and her parents have said that she's been talking a lot more uh, since our last couple of sessions so that's been really really nice to hear. I've noticed that they're feeling a lot more confident with uh, implementing our language strategies. She's really engaged in the games that we play. Her attention has been great and we've easily gotten to a full hour session with her. My main concern is really around the technology, um, making sure that it would work, making sure a family feels confident that it can be successful. There are going to be any technical glitches that we can try and anticipate those and, and troubleshoot them before the actual session's meant to start. My concerns were um, with how I was actually going to engage Sienna in um, the activities that we were already doing. So now working through telepractice, I was wondering how I was going to engage Sienna with new and different activities um, with the resources that she already had at home. I had a number of concerns when we started talking about telepractice. I think for some families and some clients, I thought it could work well, um, almost as well as face-to-face, -face, but probably a slightly lesser version. And then I also thought there were a number of clients that it would not be suitable for at all. The positive surprise with telehealth as well is I generally don't think I need to see people face to face all the time. It's a bit habitual because we haven't thought of using this technology. Um, we've always gone, yep, come into the centre or I'll, I'll come home. I think I can be a bit more flexible with clients because my diary doesn't then need that travel. It reduces the travel charge. That actually frees up some of their funds to maybe offer more therapy sessions. The, I think another benefit has been um, to upskill my coaching um, because I can only use my words and what I'm seeing on a screen. It's upskilling me to make sure that I'm giving really good feedback, um, but I think it's hopefully empowering um, families to, to make them go, I've got the skills to be able to support my client and deliver this therapy as well at home. There were quite a few surprises um, along the way. In actual fact, Sienna reacted really well with telepractice. Um, she was really engaged and really excited to be on the screen. Um, she was learning new skills. Also the fact that mum was so much more involved. So Michelle was there and modelling for Sienna. And I think that really helped the whole session completely. So, so surprised. <laughs> I think it's worked exceptionally well for most of the clients that I've seen. I think we've got a lot more flexibility as well and we're able to be in the client's homes and use the client's toys and resources that have made generalisation a lot easier. 
Lauren, Laker's mum, she, she was like, yep, that's the easy thing. I can definitely fit that into our routine as well. Helping that family to incorporate that into their daily routine so it's not so overwhelming because I think we all know that home programs at times can feel a little daunting. If the parent is involved, then they actually think, oh, this is okay, this isn't too bad and it's not taking too long and we can incorporate it in our daily routine.